Hello fellow engineers and welcome to The Wandering Village. Now man, this is such a cool game. I've had my eyes on this for quite a while now. And this is just a demo of the early version of the game, which you'll be able to play yourselves during Steam Next Fest, February 21st to 28th. But honestly, not only is this game super, super beautiful, it reminds me of Paddy, uh, but it's also really unique actually. So let's start a new game and we need to enter a save name. And as usual, I will be seeing how long of a save name I can fit inside of this box before the game freaks out and goes mental. I think it's infinite. All right, so essentially this is us, a group of nomads. Look how cool the art is though. It's like cartoony, but 2D, but 3D. Now, I'm just going to hit pause for a second because if we were to zoom out, this isn't just like an ordinary level. If we zoom out even further, you'll see we're actually on the back of this creature. And he's called an Onbu. So up here on the top right, we have his health. You got his sleepiness. Obviously that's going down now because he is sleeping. Look at him down there. Uh, he also has hunger needs and poison level so we need to look after him yeah and then if we zoom out again this is sort of where he heads so he heads along these roads you can build like a little horn to try and direct him uh, all sorts of stuff and the main thing with this is he will move through different biomes so currently we're in this one the mountains and if we click on this it tells us all about it the temperature is cold humidity is normal but there's no toxicity which is very nice uh, that's one thing we do need to look out for as we move through the different biomes now, but let's get into here and let's start setting up what we want to do to start with we want to come down to this button the harvest tool now uh, we can then tell them to collect things we can say harvest those trees i probably shouldn't have harvest that one because it's not growing so i will just unharvest that one there you go i say i saved a life i just saved a life uh, so harvesting trees obviously will collect you wood you can harvest these things which are rocks that will get us stone now uh, there's also these these are berries but it's worth noting if you harvest things they will be gone forever so whilst we might want to harvest some berries to start with we will want another a method of gaining them which we have to build all right so for now i've just selected a few of those to be harvested so if we press play all of our dudes they'll start going to harvest those nice now top left that's all the resources we have so we've got berries which is our food we've got wood stone and we've also got water note this isn't used for drinking it's only used for planting crops so we're not going to have a timber born situation where everyone's dying from thirst do not worry <laughs> But right, for some reason, they've all decided to go over to this edge and get the stone furthest away. Maybe they always prioritize things furthest away, which is quite a good way of doing things. But anyway, let's get building. So if we click this big button down here, the building menu, we've got loads of things we can build. So to start off in this village tab, this is sort of your standard stuff. So the tent is where people live. So it's housing for two villagers. Uh, it also offers them slight protection from poison stairs. So we'll build those in a bit. I probably want to focus on the workers post first uh, just to get some builders going so we'll plonk one of them i don't know up there we'll then go into this tab the resource production and if we want to collect food we need one of these a berry gatherer and basically can you see wherever i put this there's like a dotted area that surrounds it so you want your berries to be in range so like down here we can get quite a few berries in or there we can get even more so I'll plonk that there, and then these berries that get picked by the berry harvester, you won't lose these bushes. Whereas you can see up here, the ones that these guys are picking, as soon as they've picked all the berries, they disappear and turn into a pile of berries. Alright, next up, I'm going to build a farm, because I don't just want to eat berries, we want a varied diet. And we need a bit of space for that, so I might plonk that down here. And note there's two different sort of land areas. So there's the grassy land and this brownie land. Uh, grassy land obviously allows you to farm on, but there's also like mushrooms and things which can only be planted on these. So it's not necessarily wise to put all your like houses and things on this land. Uh, you do have to you do have to vary it up a bit. All right, now we've got some builders in our work post. I'm going to up the number of workers in there just to make them work a little bit harder. And the next thing I want to build is this a research building this is very important it's the only way to progress and it's the only way we can actually look after our onbu our big animal let's build a research building and we'll plonk it next to the worker hut it's so cool like you just zoom out and you can just like look down and you're like oh the onbu look at him <laughs> he's so big but yeah, he will wake up soon. It's 7 a.m. in the morning. So I imagine he will wake up and be on his way soon. And that means we will be on our way as well. We're like those little fish that follow sharks. All right. Meanwhile, I am going to build some housing, I think. We got a lot of wood. We got 75 wood. These only cost five each. Uh, how many people do you have? We have 16 people. So as these held two people each, I'm going to build eight of them, I think. And I'm going to put them along here. 
Right, I do need to keep mining wood. So as these trees grow, I'm going to keep selecting them to be chopped down. Yeah, and it also helps us like gain space as well, because we do need space to build, space to farm. Yeah, oh, look, down here, this is our farm. You can see there's a red flag. That means there's a warning. So if we click on this and hover over that, it tells us there's no plot assigned. Although, do you hear that noise? Our Ombu's waking up. So look, you can see he's now standing up. So yeah, he is up. And if we zoom out, he will start heading along this direction, where there will be various obstacles in the way, and we'll enter different biomes, all sorts of things we've got to be careful of. There you go. He is off walking. That is a leg in the middle, I promise you. <laughs> that is a leg. <laughs> well, there goes this monetization option on this video. All right, so yes, back to this farm. We need to add a plot so it knows where to farm. So if we do that, we can then just say farm the entire area that surrounds you and then the people in there will grow some beetroot right and now it seems our research building is complete so we get to pick some research uh, we can go into the tree which gives us all the options we can do or that screen there that was the recommended research uh, and it adds a little star so it recommends we build a kitchen which turns berries beets and ombu blood yummy into processed food uh, there's also a hut we can build, which is basically just bigger housing, uh, and a horn blower, which allows us to try and control the onbu. And you'll notice each of these, they're part of a tree, so you can only unlock the things further down if you unlock those. I'm going to stick with the recommended, the kitchen. All right, so next up, I'm going to start getting some water just because I have started farming now. So if we head into this tab, the resource population, we can build an air well, which extracts water from the air. And as it says there, no water is produced in the desert. So if we head into a desert biome, we won't be producing any water. So we've got to be a little bit careful, but water is only for food. Our people don't drink it. So we'll bong one of those down and then I'm going to put a water tank nearby, probably right next to it. And I might put another, another air well next to it as well. I think it's probably good to produce lots of water before we get to the desert. It's probably worth as well just doing another storage because then I don't have to worry about it. So we'll plonk that there. <laughs> and I've done the strongest shape. I didn't even mean to. Right, so I know they're going to be very, very efficient. <laughs> <laughs> yes, game. Love it. Yeah, I'm also going to build a pantry that will store some food. So I might put this down by the farm and the berries and then material storage. Probably worthwhile because there's like there's logs all over the place. It's not very tidy. So I'll probably plonk one of these. I don't know down there. You'll notice there's like tree trunks about uh, this can be mined for wood with an adjacent sawmill. Likewise, there's like rock ones. So these over here uh, can be mined for stone with an adjacent quarry. We need to unlock those in the research tree. But basically, I think they just give us unlimited wooden stone so obviously these stones they do run out and the trees they won't grow back if you cut them all down all right i'm gonna zoom out and oh just look at the beast look at him <laughs> oh he's only he's only got half a horn what happened there Anyway, if we zoom out again, we can see how we're getting on. And if you follow this road in the direction we're traveling, you'll see up here, there's a group of nomads desperately looking for a new home. So that is how we gain people They're sort of on the path as we travel. So it won't be too long until we need to increase our number of houses and things. So I might build those now. So I think we'll do another few tents perhaps that many. I'm just looking to see, is there anything else I haven't built yet? Yes, one of these, a mycologist. So this plants and harvests mushrooms. So if you look on here, we can't plant this on the green grass. We got like the red dots. But if we come over here, we can plant it there. Well, not plant it, we can place it there. Then once that's built, we can do the old telling them where to plot things. But look how pretty it is. Like, I love cartoony graphics. I don't know what it is. And I really like how like the characters are sort of different to the backgrounds and resources and things. Really, really cool. And you can even see as well, like the background is all moving as our ombu is moving. The entire world is moving. He is the entire world. All right, so there is another tab. There is this one, the resource refinement. And this does the classic. It turns logs into planks and it turns stones into slabs. So I might build one of those each just to make sure we're all sorted. Uh, I'll probably do that one there and that one beneath it. Because uh, as we go through the game, the later things, we will need those materials. I also want to know, does stones grow over time? <laughs> Sounds stupid. But I think they come out the back of this onbu thing. We'll keep an eye on these pile of stones. We won't mine them. Oh, no, no. Okay, so these have been hit with an axe. Uh, so it can be collected. So ignore me. Stones don't grow, surprisingly. Us talking bollocks. Right, so the next recommended research is either a herbalist or the horn blower to try and control the onbu. I'm going to do the herbalist, though. So if we get poisoned, if we pick up poison travelers, we're going to need that. Oh, look, and mushrooms do grow randomly as well. I didn't realize that. But there are two little mushrooms growing. All right, so I'm going to fast forward for a little bit and then we can see him walking. Look at that, it's beautiful. And then if we zoom out, 
We're getting a bit closer to these nomads, so we'll pick them up in a second and then we'll go back to normal speed. So you can see here, the nomads have joined us. So if we zoom in, we've now got 21 population. Now there are eight unemployed people as well, so we should probably get them working on something. Maybe it's worth getting a load of the worker posts. Will that employ people? Although it would be worth building our kitchen now it's researched. So yeah, we'll grab a kitchen, shove that there. Now that won't get built until we have the slabs on the planks. Oh, and down here, I'm an idiot. The mushrooms, you've got to add the plot. So yep, grow all of that into mushrooms. Oh, and look, I've, I've made a heart. A nice mushroomy heart. All right, I think it's time to use the priority tool. We're slacking on wood big time. So let's up the priorities on collecting logs. Nice, we'll speed up again. And then if we zoom out, you can see coming up ahead, there's a junction, a crossroad. Uh, if we had the horn tower, we could guide him in a direction, but we haven't researched it yet. So we're just going to go whatever way he wants to go. And look down at the bottom right, it actually tells you how far you've traveled as well. 30 kilometers already. All right, the next research, we could actually build the horn Hornblower, but I know all the other things are more important, so I think I'm going to go Village Doctor because I know poisoning is going to be an issue when we change biome. So let's accept that. And then we've got to build a herbalist first, so that gives us herbs. So I think we'll plonk those up here in that corner. And then once we've researched it, we can build the Village Doctor, which takes those herbs and it heals people. All right, look, we're at the crossroads. He's turned left, which means we're heading along this path. Uh, and up there, you can see there's a short cold snap. Uh, which might affect the growth of your plants, but nothing too much. And then straight after that, we're going to be heading into another biome. That one doesn't look too bad. It's green, but green could also mean toxicity. So we might have to be careful. All right, so this is now built. So we'll add a plot so they can plant some herbs. And then, oh, look at this. What does that say? Ah, oh, the water storage is full. So as we've herbed up to there, I might just add a few more water tanks like down there. Okay, good. Food isn't looking too great. We got 40 berries, but we got no beets. No. It might be worth adding another farmer, although that will use up my water quicker. No, I might leave it. I'll leave it. I don't know what I'm doing. Probably shouldn't fiddle too much. Plus, we have the cold snap on its way. All right, next research. It's actually recommending the hornblower this time rather than the ombu doctor. Uh, so that's if our tortoise gets hurt, we can go and heal him. But let's let's do the hornblower. Let's try and direct him next time. Oh, and you can see he is getting very sleepy. And if we zoom out, as you can see, oh, he's yawning. <laughs> oh, wow, that was a horrible yawn. It sounded like the THX intro thing, like the Dolby surround. But yeah, now he is sleeping. So we're not moving anywhere. We zoom out on the map. We're halfway along this biome, this path. Uh, so we got time to prepare. Unfortunately, he will fall asleep in random biomes. So if we're in like a poison one, we will have to try and cope with being poisoned constantly. Uh, not ideal. I'm going to try and get some more food as well. So let's grab another berry gatherer. And oh, look over here. Look at all the berries. So if we shove one there. Oh, we can't. We're right on the edge. Look at the little red. Damn it. <laughs> all right, okay. I'm going to have to get someone to harvest that tree. We're going to have to full prioritize it. All right, so who's coming over? Is it you? I think it's this person here. This is Hendrik. They are moving to the tree. Good work, Hendrik. Uh, we can see all his all his stats and stuff. So he, he's a happy boy, but he's got bad food quality. We have just built a kitchen, though. So we should be able to fix that as he chops our tree down. All right, now that's down. We should be able to build our berry gatherer. Oh, they need to collect the wood. All right, I've set that to high priority. Someone collect the wood. It should have been Hendrik, but it's not. It's this person, Garnet. They are moving to stack of wood. There you go. Pick it up. Get it out of it. Nice one, Hendrik. So now we have space to build that there. Lovely. All right, so the next research is open. We can do an ombu kitchen, which will make mushrooms into ombu food. Uh, but he's not actually that hungry yet. And we have this, the scavenger flag, which is recommended. Uh, this allows you to send out workers to scavenge rare resources and find new villagers. So we'll do that and then I'll show you quickly how it works. So once it's built, if we zoom out to the map, you'll notice there's all these little objects dotted around. And if, if we click on one, this is a mine, an abandoned mine that holds iron ore, but you can see there's no party available. So that'll just allow us to go and send an expedition to go check it out. And there's all sorts of things about, there's like quarries, there's settlements, so we can gain villagers, all sorts of things. So yeah, we'll look into that once it's built. Uh, but for now, we need to keep an eye on resources. We need, we really need some more wood. Okay, so let's harvest all of that wood. And then I might try and focus my research so we can get some sawmills in these. Although looking around, there are, there's plenty of trees actually. Maybe I'm worrying a bit too early about that. All right, down here, this is our kitchen. So we can actually tell it which product we want it to make. So at the moment, it's making beet soup. 
You can also tell it to make berry muesli. Nice. Uh, so I think I might do that as I've just invested in another berry hut. We'll, we'll start making the muesli. Oh, good. Oh, right. Our guy's waking up. He's raised his head. He's probably going to have another yawn, is he? No, he hasn't yawned. He's just stood straight up and he is off. He's not even going to stretch. All right, so we've got the cold snap coming up. So we do need to be careful of our plants. But then after that, hopefully we'll be okay. Oh, and I should probably build one of these, the horn blower. You can see we can only place this on a very specific part, which unsurprisingly is up this end. This is like by his head. So we want him to hear it so we can only build it there. So we'll do that. And then hopefully when that's built, we might be able to tell him where to go. Oh, look, we're into the cold snap now. We've just got a warning up here. So we have to keep an eye on our plants. Yeah, you can see here temperature, they are freezing, which means they decompose at 200% faster. So I think that's like a bit of a warning before we head into a frozen biome. We need to really stock up on food because we won't be able to grow any. All right, in the next research, we're going to do the ombu kitchen so we can make him some food. Because look, if we head up here, can you see this is his little food thing? He's 40% hungry. If that gets to 100, he'll start losing health because he will be starving. Oh no, and look, poison. Your villagers observe a cloud of poison on the horizon. So this biome, it's green, but green does not mean good in this case. Green means poison. Uh, so we will have to make sure we've got... Have we built our doctor's thing yet? No, we need to build one of these. The village doctor. So if we put that up there, that's next to the herbs. So these are the herbs. And the village doctor just uses the herbs as medicine. We can see we've got 21 herbs already, so we should be good. Uh, but people, they will start getting poisoned, so we need to think about looking after them. Meanwhile, we also need to build one of these. The scavenger huts. So that will allow us to do expeditions. And as you can see, they need to go around the edge so that people can jump on and off of ombu. So I think we'll plonk this one up there. All right, nice. So you can see we are in the new biome now. Uh, there's a few things to explore already once our scavenger hut's done. These are forests. Uh, they'll gain us wood and mushrooms. Oh, and here we go. You can see we are in the jungle biome. It says jungle up here. So we've got a normal temperature. It's humid. Oh, it actually says it's not toxic at all. But yeah. Interesting, but I, I imagine with our temp, because in the mountains, the temperature was freezing. So now it's on normal. Perhaps we'll be able to grow beets quicker. Yeah, there the growth is now 100%. I think they were stunted before. So nice, that's good. I am actually going to pause the carpenter uh, just because we got 17 planks. I don't really want to make any more yet until I need them. I'm then going to try and get someone to become the village doctor. There you go. Wendelin has got in there. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's on her way anyway. She is on her way. And the jungle's really dark, isn't it? Oh, look, look. I've just seen at the front. Our horn is completed. Uh, so we do actually need to put someone in there. So let's just zoom out. There's a junction up there. If we can get them to turn right, we can get some more people. So it might be worth doing that, actually. So I'm going to take someone off of maybe the research. I'll just reduce down to one person. And there you go. Someone has gone in there. Hillard. He is hornblower extraordinaire. And look, so we've got various options down here now. We can try and make him lie down, which just like pauses where we are for a bit. We can make him walk if he is lying down. Or we can make him run. Perhaps we, we're in an area where we don't want to be. Uh, really cool. And then these other tabs down here, that's for when we have the ombu doctor to heal him. When we have the feeding trebuchet to feed him. And the pest control to heal him. But yeah, you can see we're heading up in this direction. Here is the crossroads. So I can say, go south. And hopefully we'll head down here and pick up these guys. Uh, they're poison nomads. Thankfully, we have a doctor. So we should be able to heal them. And then they'll join us. All right, meanwhile, the scavenger hut is built. So if we open the map, we can choose if we want to send them out somewhere. Oh, actually, I've just noticed as well, there's poison nomads straight ahead as well. So it doesn't really matter what direction we go. Perhaps we do want to go north. What's that up there? A ruined settlement. Yeah, let's go north. We're going north. So it looks like we're going to pick up the poison nomads. So we'll make sure we've got our doctor in place. And then after that, what is this? An ombu feeding spot. So it's unaffected by poisonous plants and contains some fresh ombu food. Sweet. Uh, meanwhile, I'm going to send a party over to the ruined settlement. Uh, there could be some survivors or there could be some leftover food. So let's send a party. They are forming an expedition party and recruiting new villagers. Sweet. So we're going to get loads of new people. So we should probably prepare for that. Uh, although we've just got the next research. I'm actually going to open the research tree. It wants me to do the ombu doctor. But I feel like I'd rather feed it. Although it is actually it's coming up to food, isn't it? So maybe I won't. We could go down this middle route to try and get to the sawmill and the quarry. Or we could even do some wheat harvesting. And that will give us a windmill and a bakery for more variety in our diet. Oh, I don't know, actually. 
I should probably stick with the recommended as I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing. So we're going for the doctor. I am going to build a few more tents late because we've got a lot of new people coming. All right, look, here we go. The nomads have joined and it's a poison emergency. So if we head up to our doctor, he is healing the poison visitors with herbs. Yeah, uh, we got 27 of those, so I think that will all be fine. Yes, yeah, so this is one of our new guys, the poisoned one. He's got the poison thing above him. That means he's been poisoned, but he's not doing anything about it. He's just... <laughs> <laughs> he really wants to fit into our society. He's car he's carrying logs about. Uh, I'd rather you go get yourself seen to, mate. Go to the doctors, please. Uh, it's really dark in this biome. I miss the light. I miss the light. All right, so things are going pretty well. Uh, I could do with another water storage as well. I think because it's so humid in the jungle, we're just making water for days. Uh, but I might zoom it. Can we see what our next... Oh, we're back in the mountains next. So I won't worry too much. Oh, look, you can see here. The ruined settlement, we have claimed it. So what happened? A party returned from an expedition. They brought back one worker. Nice. And Ombu ate some food, so his hunger went down. He's only 27% hungry now. Lovely jubbly. Right, so we will be back in the mountains soon. It might be worth trying to get some more food. Like berries are pretty low. Beets are pretty low. So I can add workers to the farms. So maybe I'll do that. So another worker in that farm and another one in the kitchen, maybe? Although, look what we've just been recommended to build. A decontaminator. It fights the spread of toxic plants. So that might be a thing soon. So maybe I should build that just in case. Fail to prepare. Prepare to fail, as they say. Oh god, we also really need stone. We're out of stone. There's no stone left on the map. Right, hang on then. Let's go back to research. We're going to have to change research to the hut and try and get to the quarry. I'll tell you what, can I max out the research? Can we get some more people in there? Yeah, we can. We've got loads of people now, so that's good. I'm going to harvest all the remaining rocks I can, but we're basically out. There's like three down here, a couple over there, but that is it. Oh, look, there's our, there's our doctor. She looks like a doctor now. <laughs> oh, look, Ombu is up and he's walking again. And he probably heard Paddy just hit his head on my desk. <laughs> <laughs> Silly dog. All right, so yeah, we're well and truly in the mountain biome. So you can see all the backgrounds changing, the temperatures changing, and we've just finished our research. So I'm not going to do those. I'm going to head back to the research tree. We need to get to the quarry. So we're going to do the warehouse next so we can unlock the quarry after that. And look, there's another settlement over there. So I'm going to send a party and see what they come back with. Although actually, maybe I should have sent them to a quarry to get some stone. That probably would have been sensible. Oh, well. All right, so down here, the stone cutter storage is full. That's what happened to our stone. We turned them all into slabs. So I think we might pause that. <laughs> yeah, same with the carpenter, to be honest. We've got 45 of those. So let's pause that as well. And we're going to spend some of them on our ombu. So we're going to build an ombu kitchen. And I might put all the ombu stuff up the front. So we'll have that up there. And then we're going to have an Ombu Doctor as well. Uh, so we can care for him if we need to. At the moment, his poison level is 0%. So I'm not too worried. But what a cool game this is, by the way. Like, it's so... <laughs> How do they come up with it? It's really cool. Oh, ooh, ooh, what's that? What is that? An Ombu sleeping spot. Oh, nice. So he's going to sleep there. Oh, no, look. <gasps> what are they? It's a pollen storm. I missed the bloody turning. I would have gone straight ahead if I'd known. Okay, so it temporarily increases toxicity levels and spawns poisonous plants. And it looks like we're going through one and then another one down there as well. So we should probably build one of these ASAP, the decontaminator. So that will get rid of the toxic plants. Though annoyingly, it does mean we haven't quite unlocked the stone quarry yet. But we'll do that next time. We'll do that next. I might build a warehouse as well. Store some more materials. All right, Ombu has reached the sleeping spot. He is going to take a little nap. Yeah, that's that's great. That gives us time to prepare. And I might even try running through the spore. We haven't tried run yet. We'll see what happens. All right, it is up and moving again. The spores are coming. How far off is the research? Oh no, it's not even it's not even 50% completed. I wonder, can I tell him to stop? Ombu, lie down. He doesn't trust your commands. No, look, there's the spore. All right, run. Oh, we got him to run. So he is running through the spores. But oh no, everyone's getting poisoned. And we haven't built the decontaminators yet, so there's going to be growths everywhere. All right, you better be ready, Doctor. There's going to be some carnage about to happen, I think. Oh, look, there's a poisonous plant. There is a poisonous plant. A poison tree that spreads its infection. Oh, God. Harvest those ASAP. Oh, they're everywhere. They're everywhere. Look, there's even some of our beetroots are contaminated. All right, let's hope they can deal with all of them before it spreads. I am a bit worried, though. Look, infection... I assume when it gets to 100%, it spreads. Oh, we're back in the other storm anyway. Right, Ombu, run. Run, Ombu. Is that running? I don't know if he's running. I'll just fast forward time so it looks like he's running. 
Oh no, he's sleeping. Don't be a tit, mate. He craves for sleep. No, you've got to go. <laughs> you've got to run. Oh, you twat. He's ignoring me. You absolute bellend, Ombu. Right, we are in serious, serious trouble. Okay, even Ombu's getting poisoned because he won't move. Thankfully, we have built this now. So the Ombu doctor, we can send him down and give him an antidote. That reduces 20% of his poison and increases trust. So yeah, let's do that. I'm going to assume as well, because this game's in early development, I'm guessing that's why it's not coloured in. But nice, we've done it. We've reduced his poison level. Can we get him to move now? He's had a bit of sleep. Run, Ombu. Wake up. Wake up and run. I think he's listening. Is he listening? Yes, he's listening. I think because he trusts us a little bit more and he's had some sleep, he is actually going to move out of the poison cloud. Now, over here, I'm going to say go south because I really, I, we can't afford another another poison storm. Now, I'm going to send a party to that settlement, mate. And there we go. We're out of the storm, thankfully. I'm going to heal him again because uh, his poison level is over 40%. And I think that's where he starts doing damage. So yeah, next up. We probably want to think about building the feeding trebuchet because look, you can see it's blurry there, but his hunger is 61%. So I'm going to do that and then we'll do the quarry. Then we'll do the quarry. Uh, we really need to harvest all of these poison plants. Yeah, it's it's spreading like wildfire. Oh, look, I think he's doing it. He's punching it. There you go. He's got rid of it. Good work, sir. Does he, what does he work for? Oh, worker post. Okay, we'll increase those jobs. We want more of those, more of those. Ombu's just gone to sleep. I was wondering what that noise was. And let's pause a few of these. So I'm just reducing food and stuff because I really, I need these jobs. All right, there we go. They're both full now. So hopefully we'll get rid of those poisonous plants uh, and all will be okay. But I think we're going to end it there for today, guys. If you're enjoying this and you want to see another episode, boost the like button. Let me know. You know. I'm absolutely loving this game. It's such a cool concept. I've been told by the devs as well, the demo ends on day 35. So we've probably only got one more video to do. Uh, but if you do want it, let me know. I'll be more than happy to do another one and see where this demo finishes. But for now, peace, love and sleeping dinosaur tortoises. Bye, guys.